Hi, I'm Linda Hutchinson of L. Hutchinson Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tassel for a shower curtain, like the one right here. So I have some scissors, some embroidery floss, and two pieces of cardboard that I have started making a tassel on. I cut a piece of embroidery floss roughly I'd say about a foot long. I didn't measure it, you don't need to. Um, about that long. That's going to form the loop. Then I cut another piece that you see here. That is going to be the part that wraps around there. So you want to put those in the middle of the two pieces of cardboard so they're already in place. Then you take your remaining floss and you start wrapping it around the cardboard pushing it over as you go to make it tight like this. And I'm just going to continue to do that to show you how. You don't have to glue the cardboard together or anything. The tension of the floss is going to hold it in place and hold your other string where you need it to be when all is done being wrapped. So I'm just going to keep going. You can make this to coordinate with the color scheme of your shower curtain or you can make this for any other kind of curtain or decor throughout your home. Okay, so once you have it all wrapped and pushed together, then first thing you want to do is take this top one and bring it up here and knot it. Just a simple double knot will do. Okay, and then this part you're going to slide this off just working your way off gently but now this will be inside the loops, which is where you need it to be. And just pull the cardboard away. And now you can take this and just work your way around. Take one side once you have that with just a little bit of excess sticking out like that you go ahead and wrap this side around toward the bottom in the opposite direction working your way back up toward the middle so now they can meet in the back and tie it off in a double knot and then the bottom you just simply pull it all down get all the loops straightened out and then just trim the bottom to form the fringe and if there's anything that's left you just pull it all down sometimes it might get caught up a little bit you want to keep going until you get a nice straight edge like that and there you go. That's how you can make a tassel for your shower curtain. My name is Linda Hutchinson. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.